I got back just recently from a short trip to Florida to visit the elders in my family. These are an aunt who's 92, an uncle who's about the same age, and a brother-in-law who's 90. And it was an opportunity for me to allow them to tell their stories because we generate so much wisdom in a lifetime. And in our culture, we're so youth obsessed that we lose the wisdom of aging. Uh, one of the reasons for the trip, besides seeing these relatives, because we never know if we'll have an opportunity to do that again, is I'm in the process of writing a book on the healing journeys that I've been on around the world with different healers. And I wanted to speak to my aunt in Florida about my great-grandmother, who was called the Little Doctor. She was the island healer in Greece in a village called Castoria. And apparently, she was the doctor. People went to her with what was bothering them. If they needed a medical doctor, they'd have to go to the big city of uh, Salonika. But within, within the village and the villages surrounding this, she was the, the person they would go to for herbal remedies. If they were really sick, my aunt said that they would lock themselves in her cottage. And not only would she administer herbs, but they would tell stories. And I asked, what kind of stories does she tell? She says, oh, you probably never heard of it, Mullah Nasruddin. And I said, Nasruddin? I started my old books with stories of Nasruddin. I love him, but he's Sufi. That's Islam. We're Jewish. And she said, oh, but the stories were the only form of communication. There was no TV. Radio was hard to get even back in the old days. So communication was through teaching stories. And many of her patients were Arabs. And I said, how beautiful. Arabs and Jews together, one healer. But all of us have stories about grandparents, their healing modalities, you know, the kitchen table healing that we've been brought up with. And I would love to open it to you, if you're watching this, to share your stories of your mother, your grandmother, uh, things that have been passed down, because there's so much richness there. So I'm excited about writing the book about my journeys and the past, and please contribute what your experiences are.